Our next guest, uh, we just have a couple moments to breathe and I know she's in the meeting room right now, but I just want to say, I hope that you're getting so much information out of the Success Summit. We have two full days. We have 34 speakers uh, from not only Canada, but around the world that have said, yes, I support you. I support women of inspiration, Universal Women's Network. I support every female entrepreneur out there to help them to rebuild, recover, um, and relaunch in this new world, whatever that is right now. But it's exciting because as we heard from all of the experts and our leaders that have taken the time to share today, um, what has been really interesting is that everybody had said there's opportunities. So I want you to look at the opportunities, I want you to really dive deep into, um, you know, stepping back when you need to, but think of the opportunities. Um, it's really important to take that business uh, pulse check uh, that Angela was talking about. So um, stay tuned for future announcements about that. Super excited. Uh, and now I'd like to welcome our next guest, Kareen Finney. Welcome to the Success Summit. This is only day one and we are just getting started. So excited to have you here um, with us, Kareen. You're gonna, you're a CEO of the 29th Degree Institute. You are transformation, transformation strategist. strategist. I love, I love that, that name. It is sexy. I gotta tell you, transformation okay. is is really where we are right now. We're in a state of transformation and pivoting. That's all we're talking about. Um, Kareen aligns communities and organizations towards achieving strategic imperatives during disaster recovery. And she finds innovative ways to implement collaborative ecosystems. So a couple of really powerful words, transformation, strategy, alignment, you have the stage, my dear. So I look forward to uh, you sharing your knowledge uh, for the mindset of authentic collaboration to achieve strategic goals. Welcome, Kareem. Hey, great. Thank you very much, Monica. I really appreciate that. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to spend a bit of time sharing um, some of my experiences around um, how um, entrepreneurs and um, organizations can look at collaboration differently. Um, I'm, I feel that um, as women, we have a tendency to uh, naturally work together and um, look at opportunities to collaborate over time. However, um, there is a shift, there can be a shift in mindset and actions that pull us away from authentic collaboration. So I wanted to today, my intent is just to remind everybody of that innate drive to work um, collectively together to drive amazing opportunities forward and and um, and celebrate and, and lift each other up as we go forward. Um, I also wanted to give you a bit of a process of how you can um, effectively look at collaborating um, with stakeholder groups for to drive your own um, business strategies forward. And um, so I first want to start off by asking um, or, you know, just talking about what collaboration is. And in fact, um, it's by definition the working practice of people working together to achieve a, a, a goal or what I like to call innovative directions. Um, typically there's some kind of change or um, movement forward at the end of uh, a collaborative project. And so um, it's really important that um, there is that kind of understanding that we are trying to create transformation. We're trying to create, do some, we're trying to do something a little differently. So I always say that um, collaboration is an action word. So there's ways in which collaboration actually um, is done. Um, but I just wanted to um, add in there that collaboration first and foremost is a mindset. And um, that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today is how can we lean into our own mindset, our, our readiness for collaboration, tweaking and fine tuning that, and then what actually is the actions of collaboration. Um, and I talk about authentic collaboration. We will take a look at that, the difference between um, uh, of collaboration from a definition perspective, perspective and what is authentic collaboration. So. First of all, um, my view is that um, 
working in um, in government funded organizations, typically in a in a leadership role, a director level leadership role, or also uh, working in um, roles that required me to change communities because of uh, the work that was that was being done in the organization has set me up um, in um, in being part of a disaster recovery initiative that was um, had many stakeholders at the table, and um, the goal was um, to try and best serve the community that was being um, um, was recovered, and. Um, the things that I learned from the stakeholders and how people came together with that intention of trying to support um, the business recovery of the business community and the community and kind of got in their way, each other's way of how to actually do that effectively. So that really catapulted the work that I've done around, um, around transformation strategy and building up ecosystems in communities and organizations. I want to just say that collaboration, the mindset of collaboration comes that leads to authentic action and outcome is one of abundance rather than scarcity. So understanding that there are incredible opportunities for everybody. And we sometimes will see that people are coming at things a little bit more from that place of fear or scarcity, and they need to kind of build a sandbox and build the walls up and and open up an invitation for collaboration if it's comfortable for their um, current mindset. And um, that is a, a, a place of scarcity, a, a mindset of scarcity. When you look at things from um, all things are possible, there's great things coming, we have to um, get ready for them, be strategic in how we approach our own mindset and actions. But there is this kind of place of everybody is welcome. That changes the entire um, opportunity for collaboration, for great things to happen from a, a perspective of whether it's disaster recovery or just regular business operations. So I just want to just throw out there to whoever's listening um, to just think about um, two words that if somebody who you really respected or loved um, and loved in your life or respected in the workplace called you and, um, you know, said you are, you know, um, lazy or ineffective or some kind of word, think about two words that trigger you an emotional response. And those, that's the place when we, that sometimes can be what we say to ourselves <laughs> that pulls us out of that mindset of openness and wanting to uh, work together with that authenticity. It creates a, an ego or fear-based response and then that frames how we deal with people going forward. Um, so that's a really good exercise to practice and how you actually manage that is you just say it to yourself over and over again until it no longer has any validity or power. And that cleans, clears out your ability to come at things with your own vulnerability and willingness to, to work together regardless of the, the triggers that might be popping up. We have to take our ownership of what we're bringing to the table from a, um, a leadership perspective and what we're offering. So the benefits to collaboration are um, just day to day as an entrepreneur are profoundly impactful. Historically um, and currently great changes in communities, countries in the world happen because of collaboration. And so the tangible areas that you need that we need to focus on is understanding and having clarity about our mission, our vision, our purpose and our mandates for ourselves, for our, for our work, our business, and, and our projects that we're taking on. And, and also taking the time to understand those in your network. So who is in your wheelhouse that is doing similar work? And what are, what, how is it um, aligning? Because that's the next step, is you want to be able to figure out where alignments and gaps are in, in your own offering of service or, or um, um, product 
and what your strategic vision um, is in terms of offering to somebody else. If you don't have clarity about what you are offering, it's very difficult to understand what other people are going to uh, bring to the table for a collaborative opportunity. So um, it's also very important to understand roles and um, coordinate it and coordinate our efforts for ourselves, our employees, and also look at what people's capacity are to work with us within a collaborative um, space. If we don't have those conversations about how is this aligning with your goals, how, what do you have to bring to the table from a perspective of capacity and resources, then we get we, we don't get to have those real conversations that help move things forward in innovative ways. Um, and we have to be authentic. We, as, as humans that are um, high performers, high leaders, we tend to bite off all the things. We say all the opportunities are coming my way. And instead of actually looking at the, the ones that are really aligned with what it is we're trying to do from a greater purpose and or a business strategic perspective. There's that notion of we need to look also at the micro level of what we're offering to the to our company, what we're doing in ter, inside our company, and then what our company is doing macro level, which is inside the industry sector or in, inside the network that you are building. So, um, th in in order to um, look at stakeholders of who to collaborate with. I, I um, had a great opportunity to work down in Belize with the stake, a stakeholder group there that was trying to change how education was accessed in rural, remote, and Indigenous communities. And uh, as a third world country, resources for education are highly sought after. And um, unfortunately, um, a lot of duplication and some inefficiencies were identified because of the way in which they collaborated or didn't collaborate. And so um, I pulled this group together of ministers and um, administrators of post-second tertiary education. And um, some were um, teachers and um, in the primary and secondary or secondary and also business influencers. So people that were actually hiring people coming out of the post-secondary. And we talked about who are our supporters? So who has aligned missions and visions that are complementary? Who are your funders? Is it the government? Is it a business? You know, who is your number one supporters that they are not actually, they want you to do the work and, um, and they want to support your success. Um, we also have to know who our competitors are and we need to have great conversations with our competitors because that's where we leverage resources and capacity, um, especially in times of scarcity, which is disaster recovery. Typically, we want to make sure that we're really working collaboratively to, um, especially the COVID um, with the scarcity of resources that we're seeing. Uh, we want to make sure that we're really leveraging all the opportunities and our competitors are our number one um, advocate for leveraging um, um, resources because they're typically doing similar work. Um, and then who are the influencers, the people who don't, are not directly involved with your work, but are passionate about moving what you're doing forward. And sorry, Monica, do you have something to, no? Okay. Okay. And so, um, and so those are, those are the people you also want to know because they're the ones that you can go to um, for ideas and support and, um, their, um, and, and engaging with their network to see what, who they know that might be a supporter or a competitor and continue growing your stakeholder group because those are the ones that you want to um, have those conversations with about what authentic collaboration looks like. So what I do with my work is um, to, to promote collaboration in organizations, governments, and communities is um, my shift leadership program. And so shift leadership basically sets up a framework for leaders um, to be able to implement um, a, a way to, to lead to collaboration. And um, there's five steps to it. And um, the first one is that compelling vision, know why and what you're doing and why and how it's leading to your strategic imperatives. You wanna build awareness of your culture. So for entrepreneurs, that's yourself, 
How, how, what are you bringing to the table? What's your collaborative mindset? Um, what are the actions that support a collaborative mindset? You want to be also aware of others and where they are with their collaborative mindset. And is there a way to help them shift into um, a more authentic collaborative experience? And then what is the environment you're working in? Is it a very collaborative? Is it siloed? Um, what is the trust level in this um, in this environment? Is there great communication? What's happening from a culture perspective within, within the environment? We also want to make sure we're honing our skills for collaboration, building those st stakeholder groups, doing that research of understanding who's who, um, also continually looking at our own triggers for authentic uh, collaboration. We want to be always aligning to the strategic direction. So there's a litmus test of what is my clip What's the clarity of my strategic intent? Where am I going? And how am I aligning my day-to-day -day actions? The conversations I'm having, are I having conversations that are not serving my collaborative mindset? You need to shut those ones down and have the ones that are actually inspiring you and you're inspiring other people. And then the final one is, um, having measures of success. So understanding what success looks like, how you're going to measure it and celebrate when you get there along the way. So little, little measures of this has been a great initiative and also we did it. We implemented the project, we moved this forward, we've created a new movement, whatever it is, how, and, and celebrating that with your um, stakeholder group. So, um, I just want to talk a little bit about um, uh, communication and collaboration, authentic collaboration. There's a difference between dialogue and informing. So what I've seen a lot in stakeholder collaboration is this notion of, yes, we collaborate. I tell them what I'm doing when I'm going to, when they need to know. So there's a difference between when collaboration starts. So always looking at bringing in that collaborative mindset earlier during the strategic planning when it's appropriate it's not always appropriate uh, versus during the implementation phase so um, if we're just informing somebody that we're doing something that is not necessarily collaborative it might be a hey heads up i'm doing this and it might impact you then creating dialogue <laughs> but it actually should be the other way around if it impacts somebody you know create that dialogue that opportunity for dialogue to see where that collaborative space is um and then finally um I just want to re re reiterate that um, it really starts with the the, the um, goals of collaboration is to achieve great things with people that are aligned with the vision. And so you have to know what your vision and mission is. You have to know the direction you're headed, what it is you want to be doing and spending your energy and time and focus on, and then being able to set your own mindset so you're a successful collaborator and then put those act those collaborative actions into play have good dialogue identify your stakeholders bring them in early and then um, look towards celebrating the successes you're going to uh, realize so um, thank you that's my uh, presentation and uh, uh, keep going on this is difficult, challenging times, but we will all come through it with um, a great clarity of our, our resiliency. And uh, I just wish everyone the best of uh, success and health. Kareem, powerful talk. And you are so right about the power of collaboration in tangible collaboration. Um, I was, I didn't get as many notes down. I was uh, madly, you know, when you're running the show and there's kind of, you know, hiccups. So I was managing a hiccup, but I was listening to every single thing that you said. So I know that you saw me and you're like, Monica, do you need me? I'm like, no, no, I love the panel. <laughs> so I just want to say, I love the fact that you really stressed about people to learn their mission and their vision and their purpose. You have to be very laser focused on that. And I loved your strategy and building it together with alignment. It's so key, right? And I, I, I feel almost right now that people are saying, okay, there's so many great things that we need to do. Um, what do I start first? 
you know, so I think that the foundation is where you start first. And then, you know, cause we're given an opportunity now, like I was mentioning before that if we're going to pivot, nobody's going to ask why, right? I mean, you're not going to have to explain too much. You just do it. So if you go back to understanding those, really the foundation of the company, the mission, the vision, the values, you know, and the goals. And if you have to redo them, redo them. Yeah. You know, I know ourselves. I'm looking at the wellness piece mm. that was never a part of our pillars before, okay. even though it was underlying, it was never a part of our pillars, but I'm revisiting that because it is so important, especially for women to take care of ourselves so we can take care of others. And that means others in our businesses. So right. thank you so much for sharing authentically um, and such wise words. I, I love the alignment, the creative, the flow. Um, I look forward to following up some notes. If you have any that we can share yeah. with all of our listeners, yeah. um, you know, there are some people that weren't able to get on. So I just want to say, Hey, if you haven't had the opportunity, you're just jumping on now, breathe because you're not going to miss a single session from any one of our speakers. And we're only getting started. So Kareen, thank you so much for bringing your expertise. And, um, really, I, I think that women right now, um, can hear the advice that you've just given them and say, thank you. You've right. given us such a great gift. So thank you again for being a part of the success summit. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Take Bye. care. Thanks. Bye.